Hello viewers, welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. In today's video we are going to discuss about How to use a dumpy level Dumpy level, also known as builder's auto level or automatic level is an optical instrument used to establishing same points in the same horizontal plane. It is used in surveying and building with a vertical staff to measure height differences and to transfer, measure and set heights. While using atom P level, always understand that, the higher the ground level, the lower your readings on the amateur staff. And the lower the level the ground level, the higher your readings on the amateur staff. The Procedure of Surveying on Dumpy Level The step-by-step -step procedure to perform the surveying using dumpy level. Survey through a dumpy level can be easily conducted over a site. The dumpy level is a two-man procedure. One may require at least an assistant to proceed with the operation. Below listed types of equipment are the one that one requires to initiate the surveying operation. Dumpy level Tripod with foot screws E-meter staff slash English staff once the above instruments are available, the surveying operation can proceed. Following steps needs to be followed to complete with the surveying operation. Part 1 Setting up your level Find a benchmark location near the spot you want to measure. Set your tripod up near the spot you want to measure. Connect your device to the tripod and position it over two leveling screws. Level the device by adjusting the two leveling screws. Turn your telescope 90 degrees and adjust the third leveling screw. Check your level's calibration by turning it 180 degrees. Setting up your level Find a benchmark location near the spot you want to measure. A benchmark location is a spot that you already know the height of thanks to previous land surveys. In order to get the most accurate data out of your dumpy level, you'll need to search online and find a benchmark location located close to the spot you want to measure. If you can't find a benchmark location, you can measure from a distinct land feature, such as a large tree or building, instead. Set your tripod up near the spot you want to measure. Place your tripod on a patch of flat, clear ground that sits between your benchmark location and the spot you want to measure. Then, undo the latches on your tripod's legs and extend each leg out. Adjust the legs until your tripod is completely level, then close each latch. Almost all tripods come with a built-in bubble level. You can use this to assess whether or not the tripod is level. To measure the area properly, Make sure you set up in a spot that's slightly higher than your benchmark location. Connect your device to the tripod and position it over two leveling screws. Screw your dumpy level onto the tripod's base plate, 
then connect the base plate to the main tripod body. Once the instrument is securely attached, turn the dumpy levels telescope so that it sits parallel with 2OF the device's leveling screws. If the dumpy level wobbles when tapped, tighten the leveling screws to better secure the device. Level the device by adjusting the two leveling screws. Look for a traditional bubble level located somewhere on your device. When you find it, grab the two leveling screws that are parallel to the device's telescope and twist them in opposite directions. Do this until the bubble sits in the exact center of the level. For the best results, turn the screws within even amount of force and pressure. You'll typically find the bubble level either on top of or below the device's telescope. Turn your telescope 90 degrees and adjust the third leveling screw. After adjusting your first two leveling screws, Turn your telescope approximately 90 degrees so that it sits parallel to the device's third leveling screw. Then, adjust this screw until the bubble once again sits in the center of the level. Vintage dumpy levels often have four leveling screws instead of three. If this is the case for your device, Adjust the second pair of screws just like you adjusted the first pair. Check your level's calibration by turning it 180 degrees. After making your initial leveling adjustments, return your telescope to its starting position and check that the bubble still sits in the center of the level. If it does, turn the telescope 180 degrees and check the level again. You can focus the device once all three positions show the bubble in the center of the level. If the bubble is not centered in any of the three positions, repeat the leveling process until it is centered. Part 2 Focusing Your Level Adjust the eyepiece until you can see the device's crosshairs. Twist the device's focusing knob until the image is clear. Part 3 Taking a Measurement Position an S-staff on top of your benchmark spot. Find the height difference between your level and the benchmark spot. Calculate your level's actual height using the benchmark height. Find the height difference between your level and the unmeasured spot. Calculate the spot's actual height using your level's height. Remove your dumpy level's lens cap. The lens cap protects your device's lens from unwanted dirt, grime, and debris. To avoid damaging your instrument, leave the lens cap on until you're ready to use the device. If your lens is dirty, wipe it down with Opera Moistened Lens Wipe. You can find these at most camera stores and a number of big box stores. Adjust the eyepiece until you can see the device's crosshairs. Place a sheet of paper or a similar object directly in front of your device's lens to occupy its entire field of vision. Then, 
Turn the eyepiece's focusing knob until you can clearly see the dumpy level's crosshairs. When finished, your crosshairs should appear dark, sharp, and easily noticeable. Twist the device's focusing knob until the image is clear. Once you can see the crosshairs, Point your device's telescope toward your benchmark spot. Look for a large, distinct object in the area, such as a tree or hilltop, then twist your device's primary focusing knob until the object comes into focus. If you're having trouble focusing, Ask a friend or colleague to hold an e-staff near the benchmark spot. This metered measuring stick will give you an easy object to focus on. PART3 Taking a Measurement Position an e-staff on top of your benchmark spot. If necessary, Purchase an S-staff online or from a survey equipment shop. Then, have a friend or colleague hold the staff on top of your benchmark spot. For the most accurate measurements, have your friend rock the staff forwards and backwards and record the lowest number you read. Most S-staffs collapse to save space, so make sure you extend your staff before taking any measurements. Use a fiberglass staff instead of a metal version if you are taking measurements in an area beneath power lines. Find the height difference between your level and the benchmark spot. Look through your Dumpy Levels telescope and locate the E-staff. Then, record the measurement indicated by your device's center, horizontal crosshair. This measurement is known as your back sight. Each numbered section of your staff represents 10 cm, 3.9 in. Within these sections, every block indicates 1 cm, 0.39 in, and every indicates 5 cm, 2.0 in. Calculate your level's actual height using the benchmark height. Once you have your backside measurement, Add it to your benchmark location's actual height. This will give you the current height of your Dumpy Levels telescope. Record this measurement so you can use it to find the height of your next spot. Find the height difference between your level and the unmeasured spot. Move your staff so it sits directly on top of the spot you want to measure. Use your device's telescope to find the staff, then record whatever number the device's center, horizontal crosshair sits over. This measurement is known as your foresight. If necessary, Adjust your eyepiece's focusing knob until you can see the staff. If the spot is too high or far away for you to measure, move your staff to a lower, closer spot first. Find the height of this new spot, then move your dumpy level to it and restart the measuring process. Calculate the spot's actual height using your level's height. Unlike with your previous calculation, you'll need to subtract your foresight measurement from your dumpy level's actual height.
This will give you the height of the spot you measured. When your record this height, make sure to include a thorough description or diagram of the spot you measured. That way, if you return to the area, you'll be able to find the measured spot easily. Thanks for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.